Hi guys, welcome to moving vlog number one. I'm so excited. My name is Maddie if you are new here. Today is Saturday, September 30th and I'm getting the keys to my new place today. If you missed my last video, I talked a lot more about the apartment hunting journey and where I landed. Check that video out if you missed it, but today's finally the day. Let me give you a rundown of the plan. So I took off work this upcoming Monday through Wednesday. So I have five full days to move and get settled in before I go back to work on Thursday. Today I'm getting the keys, but my movers aren't coming until Monday. So my movers are gonna bring everything from my storage unit to the new apartment. Obviously my bed and everything is in my storage unit. So I'm not gonna be staying at the new apartment until Monday night, but I wanna take full advantage of today and tomorrow and get as much done as I can before the movers come. So yesterday I packed up all my stuff that was at my parents' house, which is mostly just all my clothes and some like beauty products and stuff. So I have two suitcases in here now of clothes and then there's like two more suitcases at my parents. So I'm gonna bring everything from their house over to the apartment over the next two days. Also, we're gonna run some errands and pick up some new stuff. Mainly today, I'm going to Ikea to get a new dresser. So very exciting, love Ikea. So we're gonna do that today. And yeah, just trying to like get as many little things done before my movers come. Cause once that happens, I'll just be spending all my time unpacking everything that's in my storage unit currently. Right now it's like 9.30 AM. I just picked up Starbucks because we need energy. Cause it's gonna be a long day, but I have like one car load full of stuff. I just went to my storage unit actually and picked up my vacuum and some other cleaning stuff just in case I wanna like vacuum and everything before I start putting new stuff in. I also got all of my hangers that were in my storage unit because that's one thing I can start doing before the movers come is put all my clothes away. That's the plan. So I'm supposed to pick up my keys at 10. So I'm gonna drive over to the new place get that all squared away and then we'll do an empty apartment tour when i get in there we're here it's gonna be so echoey before we get furniture in here but let's do an empty apartment tour like i said in my last video i ended up going with a studio which will be interesting i've never lived in a studio before always a one bed it's gonna be tight in terms of storage but You'll see the layout. It's like a really nice studio layout because there's still separation between the living room and the sleeping area. The goal of this apartment is to really maximize storage and keep things super uncluttered. Minimalism, that's what we're going for. Starting at the top, here is the front door. So when you come in, it's kind of this long hallway situation. So to the left is the laundry. I am so pumped to have in-unit washer dryer again. I did not have this in my last apartment and definitely wasn't the worst thing in the world, but I am just so much happier having it in-unit. It just makes life so much easier. Also, there's so much space on the wall here in this closet, so I definitely wanna get some shelves to have like all my cleaning supplies in here. So adding that to the list of things to get, that is washer dryer closet. And then to the right is the bathroom. Pretty straightforward. We have a tub slash shower. The sink, which one of my favorite features is this. Like, hello, lighting. We have storage under the sink. And then also this cabinet above the toilet. That is the bathroom. And then coming back this way, when you go this way, we have a little coat closet. Good storage there. And then moving this way, this is the bedroom or sleeping area. I love the tall ceilings in this unit. And we have ceiling fans above the bedroom and the living room. I'm gonna have my bed and nightstands here. Maybe get some stuff for the walls. Also, I need to figure this whole thing out, but this is an Amazon. I don't wanna say her name because it's gonna trigger all of your devices, but somehow this connects to Bluetooth and there's like speakers in the walls and you can play stuff from your phone through this, which is so cool and high tech. And then on this wall, so like facing the bed is the closet. So it's all these built-in 
storage things so I can hang stuff in here hang stuff in here and then hang stuff in there and then there's a ton of drawers which looking at this it's actually a good amount of storage I think my last apartment had so many closets so I think it's gonna be a squeeze regardless but I think it's like a really good storage situation for the amount of space that it is so we will be figuring that all out, but obviously I don't have room for a dresser in the sleeping area, so that's why I'm gonna use a dresser as my TV stand in the living room. Again, just to maximize storage, so that's what we're getting at Ikea later. But then when you move this way, you enter the kitchen. I really like all of the gray cabinets. It's very neutral and modern. I'm so excited to have a water thing on my fridge never had that before so can't wait to use that we have fridge freezer cabinets all up there also another one of my favorite features we have a wine fridge I'm so excited to stock this up stove oven microwave some open shelving up here so I want to put like my glassware up here and then decorate it a little bit and make it nice and cute and then sink dishwasher and that's the kitchen i really like the lighting like underneath the cabinets i feel like that makes it look very fancy looking this way this is the main living area so it's a good size i'm probably gonna put the tv on that wall and have the couch go here in the middle still kind of visualizing how this will all be laid out but i think it'll be good and then probably my number one favorite thing is I have a little balcony, which I've never had an outdoor space in an apartment before, so I'm so excited. I already ordered two little chairs and a table to go out here, so I can't wait to have this space to just like sit and have my coffee in the mornings when it's nice out and yeah, just be able to like get fresh air without having to go all the way out of my building. So. I'm so excited for this little space. I'm gonna unload everything that's in my car and bring that in now. And then we're gonna go back home because my mom's coming with me to Ikea. We're gonna take her car because she has a bigger car than mine and a dresser would not fit in my little car. So she's gonna drive to Ikea and I'm so excited. apartment I'm like out of breath and sweating right now because I just did a bunch of trips to and from the car got another car full of stuff from my parents house and then also picked up two big deliveries that I had ordered to my building so two furniture pieces which will not be getting set up today but they're here also who else is here Lennon. I brought Lennon over with me tonight. We're not staying here tonight, but I thought she could come and check out the new place. I got her a new bed. I ordered this from Chewy. This is her favorite bed. She has it in gray at my parents' house. So I decided to pick it up in another color, just this chocolate brown color. This is the state of things right now. It's quite a mess in here. But I picked up Chipotle on my way over here, so I'm gonna eat that for dinner. I wanted to unbox this package of stuff that I ordered from Grove. This is not an ad. I have been wanting to switch up my cleaning supplies just that I use on a, of course, right when I wanna film, when I wants to play. Come here, we're doing a haul. Come here. I did like kind of a starter pack from Grove, and I'm gonna unbox it all now because I wanna clean some surfaces around the apartment so first off i got three of their reusable cleaning bottles they are glass which is really nice and basically 
use these to put all of their cleaning concentrates in so i got three the little labels at the bottom can be changed so this one is for tub and tile then this one is just going to be multi-purpose this one i'm going to use for glass so the bottles are so nice. So you basically just refill them and use them over and over again. And then these are the concentrates that actually go in the bottles. So I think you just fill these up with water and then you pour these in and shake it up and you have your cleaning solution. So this is multi-purpose. I got the orange and rosemary scent. And then also got the orange and rosemary tub and tile cleaner and the orange and rosemary glass cleaner. Also, since I was a first time customer, there were like a bunch of different deals. So I got a lot of stuff for free. Okay, so those are all the cleaners. I also got a hand soap dispenser for the kitchen. Just plain like this. And then I think, what did I get? Oh yeah. I got a limited edition fall set, of course. So this is their Harvest Apple hand soap. So you just refill the dispenser. I also just got dish soap, which is not from the Grove brand, but I just ordered Mrs. Meyer's the Mum scent dish soap, which I think this is one of their fall scents too. Then I got a tin of dishwasher detergent packs. These are the lemon and eucalyptus ones. I got this laundry detergent. I just got a small bottle to try it out because I feel like I am picky with laundry detergents and I want to use like clean products that have non-toxic like chemicals and stuff in it. But I also like really want my clothes to smell good and be super fresh and clean. So this is the brand Dirty Labs. It had really good reviews. So I'm gonna try this out. This is the Magnolia Bergamot and Cedar scent. It just looks like this. I'm gonna try this out and if I like it, I'll get the big tub of it. Also just got Mrs. Meyer's toilet bowl cleaner. I picked up a three pack of wool dryer balls. I used to have a three pack and I lost like two of them. So I just bought some more, but these help reduce static from your clothes and also just help your clothes dry faster and kind of like separates them better in the dryer. And then lastly, I just got some sponges that I think were free with my purchase. So. That's my grill pot. I'm gonna put all this away and make my little cleaning solution concoctions. But yeah, I'm so excited to try out some new brands for cleaning products. It is now Sunday. I didn't get a ton done around the apartment yesterday. I was just so tired by the end of the day from running around all day, but I did like deep clean this main room. So I cleaned the kitchen and the floors in the living room. So feeling good about that, but it's bright and early on Sunday. I just drove over here and the first task of the day is building this ikea dresser which is gonna be a journey anything from ikea in general is hard to build but especially things with drawers it just takes so long we'll time it we'll see how long it takes but that is like the main thing i want to do this morning so that i can unpack all of my clothes and get all of these suitcases out of here so we're gonna tackle that now i'm gonna put on some music or maybe a podcast actually just kidding i'm gonna watch love is blind because there's new episodes out so I'm gonna watch that on Netflix, just on my phone. I don't have Wi-Fi set up yet, so I don't have my laptop. We're making do with what we have, but going to start putting this dresser together.
halfway done with the dresser. I finished building the structure of it and now I have to build the six drawers. But it's currently one o'clock on the dot. So it's probably taking me like three hours to get this much done. We're getting there slowly but surely. I put the dresser here and I wanted it to be a little off center this way because I'm gonna put my desk there eventually. I haven't even ordered a desk yet, but I'm thinking I wanna get like a desk that has shelves above it. So it's like taller, but kind of small in terms of width. And I'll put it in that little corner. I was originally gonna put my desk on this wall, but then for calls, it would be very backlit. And it would also like, my background would be into the courtyard where other people are. So I think it would be better in terms of lighting and everything to have it on this wall. And then my TV is gonna go on the wall above here. I feel like I have more space than I thought I was going to, which is really good news. So dresser is coming along. And yeah, I'm just gonna keep on going and get these drawers built. dresser is finally done only took like five and a half hours this is the name of the dresser from ikea i was originally gonna get the lighter wood but after seeing the apartment in person and i feel like everything's a little more cool tone with the kitchen and the floors and everything i thought the light wood might look weird so i ended up going with the darker wood it kind of looks black on camera, but it's a really, really dark brown. And yeah, super happy with it. I'm excited to put my clothes away and figure out how I'm gonna organize everything, which is gonna be next on my to-do list. Here's what we're starting with. These are not organized at all, so I'm just gonna kind of start pulling stuff out. And I have a picture in my head of how I wanna organize everything. I feel like since this is in the living room, I want these drawers to be stuff that I reach for less than those drawers. Like those are gonna be my everyday things. So I'm gonna have like underwear, bras, socks, workout clothes since I basically live in athleisure, sweatpants, t-shirts, like all of that stuff over there. And then over here will be more going out stuff, nicer tops, nicer pants, jeans, stuff like that that I'm really only grabbing on like the weekends. And then I basically have these three hanging cabinets. So since this one's longer, I obviously am gonna put dresses in here and I don't like have a ton of dresses. So I'm gonna see if I can also fit my jackets in here and then I could repurpose the coat closet for something else, but we'll see. And then I think both of these will be taken up with sweatshirts and hoodies since that's what most of my closet is. Let's just start putting stuff away. status update I finished hanging everything still need to tackle all the drawers but this is what I've got so far so on the left 
This is gonna be my sweater compartment. And then the middle is nicer tops that I like to have hung versus folded dresses and jackets. And then I think I will still hang my big bulky like winter coats, which are all in storage right now, in the coat closet. But this way, the coat closet can remain pretty empty and I have everything else in here. And then on the far right, I have all of my sweatshirts, hoodies, crewnecks. This is probably like 80% of my sweatshirts and sweaters, but I do have some in storage since it was summer. I didn't bring all of them with me to my parents, so hopefully it doesn't get overflowed once I have all that. I kind of like forget what's all in my storage unit, so when the movers bring all that stuff tomorrow i'll finish unpacking and make sure this is the system i want to keep but right now it's literally perfect nothing makes me happier than perfectly organized closets in color order it's so satisfying bit later I have some laundry going in the background so ignore the noise but I finished putting all my clothes away and I'm so just shocked at how much space I ended up having here's how I organized the dresser this top left drawer is going out tops that are either tank tops or strapless second drawer is non going out tank tops so just like regular comfy tanks and then t-shirts and short sleeve shirts. Then we have long sleeve shirts. Again, so much space. In this drawer, I have pants and skirts. And then in the bottom right drawer, I have denim. This top right drawer is completely empty. I'm still figuring out what I'm gonna do with it. I think I wanna wait until all my stuff gets here for my storage unit. We also have some extra space over here. So top left drawer, I left empty. And then this second drawer is all my underwear, bras, and socks. I need my little dividers. That is what I use to keep this drawer organized. Otherwise it becomes a mess in like a day, but they're packed away. So I will be organizing these better once I get my little dividers. This drawer is PJs. Bottom left drawer is sweatpants. I love that the bottom drawers are even deeper, so it's perfect for bulky sweatpants. Then over here, top right drawer, I have t-shirts. Second drawer, we have sports bras, biker shorts, and leggings. This is my favorite drawer, obviously. Then we have workout tops, like tanks and such, and then shorts. And then the bottom right drawer, once again, is empty. It's already eight o'clock. I look a mess. I need to go home and shower and get into comfy clothes, but I wanna get a couple more things done here before I go back home. Since the movers come tomorrow, I wanna make sure everything is cleaned, like all the floors and everything, so that they can bring stuff in, and I will have already done a deep clean. So this whole room is clean, but I wanna clear out the bedroom area so that I can clean these floors and then also do the bathroom and the floors in there. This is the state of the apartment. I got everything kind of cleaned up. This whole room is empty. I need to wash those towels. I still have some stuff in the wash there, but I cleaned the bathroom, scrubbed everything down so it's all nice and fresh. I cleaned all the floors. I am so tired. My body is sore from sitting on the ground all day building that dresser and also just from like carrying things. Hopefully I can survive three more days of this same thing, but I think I'm gonna end off the vlog here and start off a new one in the morning. Tomorrow the movers come, so a lot of progress is gonna be made tomorrow. I'm so excited. Thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you're excited for all of the apartment moving content. I know I am. Make sure to subscribe if you haven't already and follow me over on Instagram if you wanna see more of my day-to-day -day life. 
Also, I'm trying to post more on TikTok of this whole move, so follow me over on TikTok because I'm going to be posting videos on there probably before YouTube sees them. Love you all so much, and I'll talk to you in a new video very soon. Bye!